Okay, welcome to my video about using Zygor's leveling guides for Warcraft. Uh, this character was just created and as you can see the guide here shows up right in the middle of the screen and this can easily be clicked and dragged to the top of the screen. As well there's a waypoint arrow. Uh, this comes from courtesy of the cartographer add-on uh, which is tied in with Zygor now and all we got to do is click and drag that to where we, if we want it to be. So you can, depending on what your screen is like, you can move this to wherever you want. And uh, it's uh, pretty easy to configure as well. What we do is we go to the options and right click and you can expand Zygor's guide viewer section here. First thing I'm going to recommend is you go to display and under show steps change this to one and by default up here you're only going to see the next task or related tasks. If you set this to more it will expand which could end up getting in the way of your screen again depends on your resolution and if you do all then I think what it does is just uh, anything that's sort of in the same area I may be wrong on that or maybe it just defaults to a particular size I have found that one is good enough because I'm only going to do one thing at a time anyway another thing you should do is click on the hide guides in combat um, again depending on where you're going to be putting the uh, uh, the guide um, screen that may cause you some issues if you're you know again if you've got a, uh, a narrower screen that could get in the way of seeing whatever your uh, uh, enemies uh, spell uh, cast are, are doing and under dynamic progress I'm gonna get into this in another video but there's a few different things that you should do I would suggest putting at least two or three levels ahead as an option I usually go with five um, I'll get into that later on Waypoints, I've only tested it with Cartographer 2, um, but you can change the settings of how big you want the icon to be. And you can set up some profiles so that if you've got multiple characters that you're using this with, you can save the settings and apply them to other characters as you create them. Okay, that's it for this guide. I will be back with another one later on.